Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my two meter base station that I created for under fifty dollars. I'm using a Beofang UV5R radio which I spent I think it was twenty five dollars. Um, see we have the SO239 which was I think it was three for um, seven dollars. And then you also need the SMA female to UHF SO239. And I got a two pack of those for $6.50. And then also, if you have them at home, you'll need some um, zip ties and a couple clamps, a three fourths, quarter, a three fourths inch PVC pipe, and a T connector. Now, as I said, I want to use pretty much everything I have on hand at home. So what I did here for the dipole, I had some sprinkler wire. And as you can see in there, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but there's four wires encased in here and they're solid, solid copper core. And what I did was strip it and took out one of the wires to use for my dipole. It's nice and stiff and easy to work with. And then I connect the SO239 to the dipole wires. I used some um, speaker wire that I had. And I think it's um, 16, I believe it is, or 18 gauge speaker wire. And to calculate the length, I went online to a um, frequency um, calculator for the length of the wire. And the repeater I use is right around 144 megahertz. So I don't remember off uh, offhand what the length was, but what I did was I um, cut the wire longer and then um, built the dipole and then to tune it I went up on the roof and adjusted the length where it's going to be mounted and I'll show you in a minute where I mounted it. You can see I took the clamps here I soldered the wires to the SO239 and then I clamped them on to the length of the the dipole wires as you can see here and then I zip tied them on. And then this can be either position horizontal or vertical, but I wanted it vertical. Uh, so what I did here is instead of gluing the pipe to the T connection here, I put some screws in it. So in case I ever want to flip it um, horizontal, I can just uh, take the screw out and flip, flip the pipe horizontal so I have a horizontal antenna. All right, let's take the finished antenna and we'll go take it outside and mount it where it's going to uh, be permanently. As we step outside, we can see we have our helper here. Are you ready to help? All right, we have it mounted on the house. We used a couple of clamps to mount the pipe. And as you can see, I have the coax hooked up. It's around 36 feet of coax and it's all connected. Let's go inside and look at the radio. All right, I have the antenna um, hooked up and I hooked up an antenna analyzer to it. Um, I don't have a ballon on the antenna, just for your information, but here's the SWR reading I got when I did a um, antenna sweep using the antenna analyzer and as you can see it's hovering right around 1.5 on the SWR and this was for the two meter band all right here we go on the 70 centimeter band and um, this is a pretty interesting wave I'm not really an expert at antennas I just kind of experiment with them and see what works and what doesn't so maybe someone with a little more experience could um, kind of analyze and tell me why I'm getting this wave here. All right, here we have the base station. We have the UV5R here. 
We have our connection to the coax from the antenna. And I also bought a microphone. And I think I picked that up for they're around, I think they're around $8 on Amazon. So if we go ahead and turn it on. On hand, flashlights with spare batteries and or candles. In and you can see we're outage. picking up the weather van there. And I went ahead and tried it out with uh, on the two meter van and the 70 centimeter van. And I was able to go a lot farther than I was using the stock antenna. And actually on the 70 centimeter band, the farthest I was able to get out was um, 45 miles to a repeater. Most of the repeaters around in my area are on top of mountains. And I think this mountain is probably nine, 10,000 feet. So we're getting a line of sight to it. But that was pretty impressive to get out 45 miles, and it's a very strong signal. All right, so there you have it. There is a two meter base station you can do yourself for under $50. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.